How's it going everyone? This is Mac My Stuff and this is the Hackintosh. It's a live video. Yes, I did finally complete it and it's done. So the first thing that will probably draw your attention is the GeForce 660 Ti graphics card. This is what's running all of my graphics and I love this card. It is amazing. Next popular thing is the Corsair H100i Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. This will help me overclock at incredible speeds. I have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, which is becoming the baseline, and a Core i7-3770K processor. For the power supply, I'm using the Corsair HX650, which is modular, so I'll have nice cable management. In my hard drives, I'm using a 3TB, uh, just regular hard drive off Newegg, and a SanDisk Extreme 240GB SSD. I also am using a Firewire and a Wi-Fi card, so I can have the capability of those. On the front, you see two USB 2.0s, audio, Firewire, and fan controls, as well as a reset button and a Blu-ray drive. On the back, you see all the ports on the motherboard, including the two Thunderbolt ports, which is the main reason I did this build, and you can see my uh, beautiful cable management back here. When it's all hooked up and powered up, you can see the awesome LED lights in the front fans, which are really cool. So now we're going to go ahead and run some speed tests. This is testing out the SSD, and we were able to get about 285 megabytes per second up. And then over here on the read, we were able to get well over the charts. So again, this SSD is insanely fast, and um, I completely recommend it. So now we're going to go ahead and change over to the uh, regular hard drive, just for some comparison. This is again the 3 terabyte drive that I have, and we're getting about 175 up, or now it's up to 186, and then um, down we're getting about 194, 195-ish. So now we're going to go ahead and run some benchmarks on Geekbench. This is only the 32-bit uh, version because I'm not going to pay for the 64-bit. And you can see we got an incredible score of 11,296, which is uh, great. It completely outperforms the MacBook Pro, which you can see right here, running the exact same test. Um, again, the 32-bit. And it's almost done. There! 7,967, so big difference there. So guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more content, and leave me a comment down below on what you want to see in the future. Thank you to Justin Thompson for keeping me entertained as I shot this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya.